Hey guys, Argo here, back at it again with some more Samurai Jack. Ten hours into the game, we I think we've finally got enough farming. We think we're as strong as we're gonna get. So one more time, we're going to Aku's Tower. Hopefully this one we can take him down. I would have kept getting skills, but the ones I need now, the ones I want to unlock now are all being gate kept by in-game items. I don't feel like searching for them. This ugly ass nigga. The samurai's low key a savage, cause he got his ass whooped one time and changed his whole fucking life around. But enough about that. Let's fight. Golly. Let's go. I guess I should've... Uh, well, I kinda made sure I had stuff. Everybody getting in.
I really just punched him through it. <clears throat> Nothing here other than my own abject demise. Guess I'll climb. <coughs> I've had the same cough in my throat for the past three hours. Guess I'll suffer. Don't you fucking run from me now. No, no, it was all fun and games, right? Right? It was all fun and games, so you didn't think I could touch you. Now all of a sudden, right? Now all of a sudden, right? That time my black ass avoided the stun, so fuck y'all. Bring that ass.
Bring that ass. Oh, right. I almost forgot. I've kind of been, um, nerfing myself. Basically, I needed more of these. Um, there's a specific one that I needed that I didn't have and I don't know how to find, but, um, but yeah. I'm right over Domango, aren't I? Yeah. Or Domango. What did I say? Domango? Oh, I should probably heal. Now let me get a Guardian Potion just in case. And a little bit of water just because I know it's gonna help me out in the long run. Ever try to guard me? Got him. And your breath smells like stepped on chili dogs, bitch. Motherfucker sounds like the aftermath of a Sonic R race. Capacity. But yeah, I ended up um, hyper focusing and picking up um, uh, grinding so I could get level four sword skill from the shop. So shout out to Dust Samurai for hooking your boy up, even if he was a stingy bastard about how expensive it was. So, two motherfucking machine guns. This is it, guys.
Okay, so desperation lets me come back with 20% health. Gift of the Gods lets me come back with full health. That's the difference. Ooh, grab the shit out that nigga. Did his grab range go up with the longer weapon? That don't even make any fucking sense. But guess what? We fucking take those. I can guarantee you that much. to be honest. A super armor makes it easy to forget you can, um, you actually be taking damage from certain shit. Just you watch. After this, I'm gonna go back to the fucking shop and buy myself so much damn haggis. Bitch thought, thought shit was slick, huh? You thought shit was slick, huh? With one health point left, bitch. Don't you ever try to pull up on me like that again. I'll piss in your cereal. climb or some shit. Let's try this again. Hey, 
Here we go again. Okay, then what the fuck is over here? Was it just an alternate way up to the same location? I think it was just an alternate way up to the same location. Man, y'all some assholes, bro. Here I was thinking I was, like, finding some secrets. And I'm over here finding the boss room. Yep, y'all done fucked up now. They let out Jack with the big bow. Imagine you were an ancient warrior, and you just started getting the absolute shit kicked out of you by a dude who really was just running around here with a with a piece of wood. You was really, you was out here getting beaten up by Jesus himself, getting getting the absolute hands from a carpenter. That's crazy. <laughs> the Bible, but a battle manga. <laughs> There are way too many of these fucking things. I'm gonna need like half of y'all to die, please and thank you.
I don't like how they just be like, knock down, knock down, knock down. Shit mad aggravating, bro. Because it doesn't even feel like I'm mashing, per se. Like, normally, I really do just be rubbing my face against the controller and saying, like, fuck it. This time around, I'm actually, like, making a pretty decent effort to, like, try. Because I do have limited resources currently. So, like, the fact that they still just be molly in my shit with, like, with what feels like no fucking preparation whatsoever is ass. Because, like, like I said, I had to grind just to have the courage to come back to this fucking level because it was, like, actually difficult fighting this nigga the fucking, um, nigga Aku. And these, all these fucking things do is just take up all your fucking resources. Such an obnoxious gauntlet. Like, it would be a much less obnoxious gauntlet if they were providing you with a healing material at, at the end. But they were just like, hey, yo, that's your one, sh one shop. That's it. Better not pass out. And it's not like I have a problem, an inherent problem with the gauntlet style to begin with. It's just that if you're going to be providing a, a, a seemingly endless amount of enemies, you should be providing health. Dude, why can't the, why can't I fucking guard him? And his hitbox disappeared. What the hell? So I couldn't stop him from attacking me by forcing him to stagger, and I also couldn't block him by holding the block button. What the fuck did they want me to do? Walk casualty casually to the left? What the fuck going on over here?
And it's not like I don't understand the concept of unblockables. But I just didn't realize that that attack that he was hitting me with happened to be an unblockable. I didn't see any red aura. Hell, I don't. I think I even missed the um, indicator tone. I can't believe I even made it out of that. Let me get some of uh, this in the mix. You already know the vibes. So that was desperation. That had to be desperation. So that shit's gonna hit me no matter where I am. Man, I could have dodged. Y'all trying to hold me, because I could have dodged. I should have dodged all that shit. Y'all got me fucked up. Oh, I guess he can attack his own demon thing. Okay, I gotta keep that key I fired this time around, because I get a damage uh, defense bonus so long as I have an active fire. What hit me? What hit me? A fucking ninja? Bro, you do not get to just fucking spawn here and be like, oh. Okay. Okay. You're not getting in my way this time, you bitch ass ninja. I gotta move, I gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Rotate, rotate, come on. Let's go, Jack. Damn it, heat with the fireball. I need more powerful arrows. It's time. Break out the strong shots. I only got 10 of them, bitches. 
Damn it, he moved. Bitch-ass ninja. Think shit's slick? I fucking- I could feel you this time around. Added explosive shots. Switching to piercing. I just need one more slowdown. I've got two bars of ki, so if I waste one, I still get the defense boost. I'm gonna try to stick. Got it! You dropped your guard, bitch ass nigga! Yeah! 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 <laughs> we got his ass! Let's go! Let's fucking go! <laughs> you have no, many year, no, no idea how many years I've been waiting to kill this nigga. Let's go! And I'm fucking your daughter, nigga. Slash! Happily ever after. Let's fucking go. Shh, no spoilers. Welcome back to the past, bitch ass nigga. Gang. Vengeance. He wasn't ready for his run back, bitch ass nigga. Round two. That's for taking 50 years of my life, you punk ass bitch.
And then we ran out that bitch without even looking at the explosions. Let's go. Shout out to Samurai Jack. Shout out to Gendy Tarakovsky. I think that's how it's pronounced. Tartakovsky. Yeah, Tartakovsky. That was right. Oh, and um, you know what? Since he was in the post credits, I want to give a big shout out to Big Mako, aka Original Aku, aka Uncle Iro, aka the realest nigga to ever hide his face behind a voice. May he rest in peace. How do I feel about the game? I mean, I've played it for 10 hours. Even even did a little bit of excessive grinding just to make the last boss a little bit more tolerable. After doing the grinding, even though I didn't get as much grinding done as I would have liked to due to in-game items being a little bit hard, certain in-game items being a little bit hard to find, the grinding itself did feel very fruitful. It felt like because I gr was grinding to get stronger as a result, I actually got more powerful. Which is, a, honestly, something that's been lacking for from a couple of the few um, single player games I've been playing recently. Sometimes it just feels like you don't get stronger even though the enemies do, even though you're progressing. But this game does a good job of mitigating that feeling. And while I didn't really play it for more than an hour session at a time, I definitely had fun. As far as how it works as a game, like barring all the Samurai Jack branded content, honestly I think it's pretty fucking confident. It feels like they actually tried to make a Samurai Jack game, and not like they tried to, um, not like they took a game and threw Samurai, and slapped Samurai Jack all over it. Um, honestly, the atmosphere sets weren't bad, they were memorable, they they had just as much pop as, and feeling as they did in the, orig in the original series. Aside from instances that I feel like I've already really mentioned, um, combat itself felt pretty fluid. Didn't really have very many issues. Hmm. Consum consumable management was okay. I wish you could you could have carried more haggis since that was really your main um, health giving item. I would have liked to see us be able to carry a lot more of that, but. Yeah. If giving a game a 5 out of 10 is saying that the game is generic and not not worth not not saying a, in my opinion a 5 out of 10 is the lowest any video game should get. Because a 5 out of 10 means that this is a functional game. It's just not that fun. That's what it means to me. So this game is definitely more than a five. Oh, well, right there. I guess this game was already dedicated to somebody. So, shout out to Yasushi Medea. And I'm probably butchering that person's name. Hey, I got an... I got a fucking S.
But yeah. Y'all can see it here. I still don't know what... So I've, I've gone back and perfected, like, gotten even better. Like, Super Samurai Jack SSJ. And it still only says, um... Let's see, there are four flowers. They must be corresponding to the difficulty level. And since I have no intention of playing this game on Master of Samurai, or Master of Masters, eh, I think I'm okay with leaving it as it is. But as I said, guys, that was my official... Those were my final thoughts on this game as a whole and its mechanics as far as um, how it feels to play. I don't think it's a bad game. I think I'm going to give it a... A 6 out of 10, which means that it's better than, it's not just a generic game, and there is a, there is, there is indeed a reason to play this. It's, the reason to play this game just isn't the gameplay. You're not playing this because you're looking for a unique and exciting and experience full of shit you never could have possibly seen before. You're playing this because you're a huge fan of Samurai Jack, and do you want to go go through the final fight one last time on your own terms and to to that goal this game is a perfect respect to it uh, this game is a perfect respect for that goal so um as far as spending money on this game I'd have bought it I wouldn't have bought it full price because this game doesn't have as much replay value as something that is offering a more unique experience but but yeah I think a good 6 out of 10 is a solid is a solid rating of this game again 5 out of 10 being this is a functional game with with no major mechanic issues six out of ten so overall, my overall opinion is this. It's a 6 out of 10. Play it if you like Samurai Jack. If you're not really into Samurai Jack, there's no real reason to play this game. Which honestly is a pretty good... Um, which is a successful game. To, a successful themed game to me. Like... It definitely does a better job for the replayability... It definitely does a, a, at least as good of a job for this series as Storm is for Naruto, I guess. Maybe not the um, Shinobi Striker, but as far as, because, you know, those are all multiplayer games, what have you, co-op. And this is a uniquely single-player experience compared to those games. But as far as being a confident entry into video games for the series even though I know this is like not their first game and even though I know this is probably Samurai Jack's last game um, as far as being a competent entry I think it's exactly that it's competent so that's all I have to say on this this has been Argos God with my official playthrough and review of Samurai Jack Battle Through Time edited but uncut Y'all be easy, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.